Well, hello again. To the delight of many around here, um, this is going to be the last uh, amateur prepping video that I'm going to make uh, on that subject. <clears throat> and um, after that, I'll just continue uh, doing uh, learning new prepping techniques and I'll pass them along as, um, as needed. But uh, this will be the last one of the series and it's about food. Food in case of an emergency like we've seen with uh, um, Hurricane Harvey. And uh, right now we have uh, Hurricane Irma uh, Category 5 at the present time barreling west uh, towards us. So we're going to get ready and hopefully it'll turn north or turn south or go somewhere else but um, we'll see what happens. In any case uh, this one is about foods and I wanted to show you some things that you can do to prepare. In addition to your whatever you have in your pantry you know you stock up on the water and you stock up on many other things um, for a uh, hurricane uh, you you should know about the longer term uh, food requirements that you may have uh, and be pre prepared for. So here we have, uh, these are actually uh, freeze dried uh, food and this one is a serving for one person. It cost about $5 at uh, Walmart, $4.82, uh, something along those lines. All you do is you add water to it and uh, let it cook a little bit, stir it, and you have a meal for one person. This one happens to be uh, beef stew, which is pretty good. And this one is uh, sweet and sour pork, which is very good. This one is one serving also, but they, they sell them in uh, two, two and a half servings. And those are like $9, almost uh, um, right around the $9 range. In any case, uh, what you do is uh, you boil the water, you mix it in and uh, voila, you have a, a meal for one. Another brand of uh, freeze-dried food uh, that's very, very popular, um, like uh, Mountain House is very popular. It's a uh, wise uh, company and they make uh, freeze-dried food uh, for the masses also. Uh, they sell them in packages like this, um, which uh, this one, for example, is a 72-hour package. And what this one has, is apple cinnamon four servings, southwest rice and beans four servings, uh, chicken flavored noodle soup four servings, uh, brown sugar and maple multigrain cereal four servings, creamy pasta and vegetables rotini four servings, and then it has 14 servings of whey milk. And the same way that you prepared the, uh, the mountain house, you, you will prepare this one too. Uh, this one is a sample, a sampler pack and uh, it has creamy pasta and vegetable rotini, tomato uh, basil soup, savory stroganoff and cheesy lasagna. I don't know if you can see the, the pictures there, but that's what they look like. The difference between these are, are very similar in price. Uh, what you have to look for is the actual serving. You know, for example, uh, you might pay uh, 50 cents or a dollar more on, on uh, Mountain House, for example. And, but it has two and a half servings. Not these, but uh, some of them may have two and a half servings as opposed to one serving from here. The, also, the size of the servings makes a difference and that way you can evaluate the price. These are not the only two brands that make freeze-dried uh, food. There's a whole bunch of different brands and, and all you have to do is look them up on the internet 
and buy as you feel comfortable. You know, the supply that I have, um, I've been buying a little bit at a time. Whenever they have a sale, you know, I look at it, and if it's worth it, I, I purchase uh, uh, one box, and then the next time they have a sale, I purchase another one, and so on to build up my uh, supply. But you don't have to buy freeze-dried food. You know, you can also dehydrate food and you can season it the way you want. <clears throat> um, that's what I'll be talking about next. I'm kind of sad that we discovered dehydrating food uh, kind of late, but uh, now that we've discovered that we've been going at it and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of fun. Um, today, uh, in preparation for... Uh, uh, the hurricane that's supposed to hit us uh, this uh, coming weekend. Um, I'm going to be making some beef jerky, which is a nice uh, savory source of protein, and uh, it's it doesn't spoil. You know, you especially if you vacuum pack it like this. But anyway, uh, a dehydrator. Um, they're not that expensive. They they can pay. Uh, I mean, they can they can cost as much as you want to pay. <laughs> Anybody will be glad to uh, take your money. But they basically do the same thing. The thing that you have to uh, uh, look for is make sure that whatever dehydrator you get, you actually have a thermometer uh, setting. Um, because this is how you determine what temperature you're going to dehydrate. I've seen some uh, dehydrators that are only like $40 or something like that, but they didn't have a thermometer setting uh, like this one does. And this one came out to $50. So for $10 more, you know, you're better off uh, paying the extra money. The other thing, when I was doing the research, um, uh, there's a uh, different brands out there and I'm sure that they're all pretty good but the one I noticed and looking at uh, YouTube a lot of people most of the people that do uh, that dehydrate uh, foods um, on a regular basis they have this brand called Nesco uh, Nesco from uh, American Harvest and uh, uh, one of the videos I recall uh, the lady said that uh, they they bought it 10 years ago and they dehydrate food on a regular basis. You know, the principle is the same. It doesn't matter what brand uh, you use. Just make sure it has a, a thermometer. Some of them are square, some of them are uh, rectangulars and others are round like this one. That doesn't matter. The principle of dehydrating the food is the same. The other thing is you get a, a food saver and they have different brands on that too. And what you do is uh, when you dehydrate food, you can, if you're not gonna eat it uh, right away within a few, you can put it in a Ziploc and throw it in the refrigerator. But here we're prepping for extended periods of time without electricity. So it's better to vacuum pack them. Uh, and uh, those uh, uh, food savers, again, they range in price from $17 that I paid for one on sale with all the functions that, that I wanted uh, to the $129 uh, or $149 uh, for the most expensive one that I've seen. But they call them food savers and they'll save you a lot of money and for prepping uh, for extended periods of time without uh, electricity, it's uh, excellent. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, you'll love prep, uh, dehydrating um, um, uh, vegetarian food, vegan food. Here, for example, Jerry, yesterday she prepared uh, uh, rice and beans with uh, ground beef, seasoned ground beef. And it's all packed away and uh, it's all dehydrated and here we have servings for two or three people once we hydrate it back. Um, this is some uh, beef jerky I had made, uh, when was this, um, 
This was uh, about three weeks ago. We put it in the refrigerator and we have beef jerky. This is spaghetti and, <clears throat> uh, and meat sauce and it's been dehydrated. It's been vacuum packed and we had it in the refrigerator. It's just a matter of boiling some water, add, adding the water, about a cup of water to this and you have a, uh, a good meal for one person. Um, <clears throat> Another type of food that you may want to stock up on is the good old ramen noodles. You know, ramen uh, noodles, they come in all kinds of flavors and uh, they're, they're easy to prepare. It seems like uh, all you do is boil water, add this and the, and the powder and the flavored powder and, and that's it. Uh, you can also add different uh, types of canned meat. You can add chicken, you can add tuna. You can add, uh, uh, this is Spam. There, there's a recipe of ramen noodles that I'm going to try today. And it, uh, you, you use the ramen and you take some uh, uh, powdered uh, mashed potato that comes in a, in a packet similar to this. And you prepare the ramen, you add the mashed potatoes, you take uh, some Spam, chop it up into bite-sized pieces, mix it all, and supposedly it's a bomb. And actually that's what they call it, a bomb, a ramen bomb. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I, I did was, for example, when I'm boiling water, uh, if you know what a thermal cooker is, uh, it's um, an appliance that you, not an appliance, but a, uh, some utensils that you use uh, in the kitchen where you boiled, um, uh, let's say a stew uh, for about three minutes and then you put it inside the thermal cooker and forget about it for a few hours. And what happens is that um, the heat is maintained and it keeps cooking the food uh, that you only boil for three minutes. And during, for those three hours, that stew keeps cooking and, uh, by maintaining its own heat within that uh, thermal cooker. Well, something you can do uh, by yourself is, uh, let's say I boil water in here, and these are the handles, and once the water is boiled, all I, I made this cozy, they call them cozies, and all it is, is this is made out of the uh, material that you use for the solar uh, um, uh, sunshades that you put inside a car. That's, that's what this is. I just cut it to shape of this and the gold is uh, duct tape, gold duct tape. You can use whatever color you want. I, I just needed to cover it all in, in duct tape and I happen to have gold. So once you have this made and you have your water boiled, you put in, let's say, uh, your spaghettis in here. And now you take your pot with spaghetti and boil water. You put it inside the cozy. Then you put the cover on and you put the cover on the cozy. And you let it sit for, you know, 10, 15 minutes uh, for the spaghetti to rehydrate and absorb all the color and the water and the colors. When you open it up, you'll have what looks like regular spaghetti and tastes like regular spaghetti. It's really a really cool uh, gadget. And the cozy, it's very simple to make. I think the... Um, uh, the sunshade cost uh, three dollars and forty um, three forty seven and then uh, uh, the duct tape was probably more expensive than the sunshade you just cut it to size and uh, <clears throat> uh, you tape it all up and, and you got yourself a homemade thermal cooker one last thing that I'm going to touch on uh, briefly is security. With any national or local emergency, uh, after that initial period of time, you have people 
that don't want to follow the law or they want to take advantage of others less fortunate. Or simply they're in the same situation, they just want your stuff. So security uh, under those conditions as we see happening now in uh, Harvey, it's very important. I'm not going to go into details uh, about security because that is a security violation uh, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to tell you what I do. All I need to tell you is that I do take security measures uh, serious and I'm prepared to defend myself, my family, my pet, my home, and my property uh, until the uh, law arrives in, in a situation where I have to do so. Um, you have to take security measures. There's a lot of things that you can do around your house that you can secure yourself. Um, and um, just uh, be prepared uh, to um, secure your family and your belongings in case of uh, looters or robbers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, just uh, call them slime balls if you want. And basically that's it. I hope uh, you've learned something. I've learned a lot doing these uh, amateur uh, prepper videos and I will continue to learn and, and it's uh, kind of become a hobby with me. Um, hope it helps you out. Be safe.